hearts of those traitors. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served right, me well. So we're about to I know I can count on you. I'm gonna have to either Tell your uncle. Or... <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Still a horse in Tell me. no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> 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 We love the world of Frey. Don't just stand there, Brian. I'm assuming it's the one continent of many. Now we've got Dorne, we've got um, Bravos, we've got Marine and Astapor. Astapor. I like this pig. Who doesn't like bacon? Sorry. Oh, I can't. Can't. Oh, wait. No, there's no get bacon option in this game. Uh. There's blood. Blood? Yeah, I just said that. Fresh. I can still want. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. We could probably get some bacon here, but. I don't know how long this pig's been dead. So it wouldn't be back bacon, it would be bad bacon. Bad bacon. Rotten bacon. Bacon that's not good. Here's a car. Oh, hello. Uh... So this was free on PlayStation Plus recently, and that's, that's why I got game. it. I already had this on PlayStation 3, but I figured I might as well complete it. Code. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Bolton. Bolton. may be common, but at least still have his bacon. So there was Ramsey Bolton and his dad. What's his dad's name again? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark Bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Yeah, Lord Bolton, Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. No. Aye. You'll have it.
All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. My family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Wow. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. Oh, you have my condolences. Soldiers and Bolton. Thank you, mister. Fucking assholes. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh yeah, I'll do I did do that. Didn't I? Oh, that yeah, I think it's just rinse the each end These are dark oh. days, I feel. To lose the Lord of the House and the eldest son through such a despicable act of victory and betrayal. Having the cup human backline. Greater houses or than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. Like in uh, Robert? A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, I think uh, I'm putting honey. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Not entirely sure. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather yeah, frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? 
I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrest and Lord Ethan. At the twins, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Um. Yeah, that's. Is that a string instrument? Or... Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but. Yeah. Lady Forrest. My... Welcome home, yeah. Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Nato. Hmm. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. Uh, oh, yeah, crab pitchfork. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess that wasn't the best choice. <laughs> That makes my first death in this game. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Shut up. My sash is too big for your face. You really are a pig farmer. <laughs> <laughs> For this, that much I promise. <laughs> Father, um, Garrett, you survived. Well, that is weird. <laughs> your like your sister the sword on his back. And... <laughs> she hid. Well, she clearly didn't do a very good job. I tried to stop them. Like, why kill her? I mean, she may have been over. I'll kill the one who did this. Like, come on. Did you really need to stab her in the back of a pitchfork? Yeah, he's gonna need that look down. Gonna get infected. They don't catch fever, then you know, he'll just roll it's over Garrett. and die. Get the castellan! Yeah. Tell him his nephew survived! Yeah, he's back. Me it all the way back. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. And we're back in Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end. 
even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Why do this has been so work? incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Well, Garrett can't stay here. Ultimately. It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to leave me. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot oh, stay? Shit. Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. Hey. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Oh, that shot him, huh? That settles it, then. He just leaves our word. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. 